So I recently read a book. I know you're shocked that I do things other than watch reruns of Bones on Netflix Instant Watch, but just bear with me. And that book was entitled Covering the Hidden Assault on Our Civil Rights by Kenji Yoshino. The book, who is written by Kenji Yoshino, who is a Japanese American and gay man, is kind of the story of Kenji Yoshino. It's mostly similar to what you would consider a memoir. But the thing about Kenji Yoshino is that he's a lawyer, so it's a memoir that also looks at the stories of others from a lawyer's point of view. And wait for it, Kenji Yoshino is also a poet. He was going to be a poet, but then he decided to be a lawyer instead because he didn't want to be a Japanese-American gay poet, because that's just, that's just too many minorities in his mind. <laughs> Let me read to you a brief passage on how Kenji Yoshino describes covering. Everyone covers. To cover is to tone down a disfavored identity to fit into the mainstream. In our increasingly diverse society, all of us are outside the mainstream in some way. Nonetheless, being mainstream is still often a necessity of social life. For this reason, every reader of this book has covered, whether scarcely or not, and sometimes at significant personal cost. I think the same theory can be applied to YouTube, whether you just leave comments or you make videos. A lot of YouTubers talk about what YouTube used to be like, and I know I've talked about before, how YouTube used to be so open and you know, anyone could do anything and you don't have to sing to be awesome and all this, all this, these various things. And now I feel that YouTube is a lot less personal because, well, most of us, if not all of us, are covering something about ourselves. Just as Kenji Yoshino covered the fact that he was gay or covered the fact that he was American, Japanese, and Japan, and Japanese American in America, if that makes sense. We're all just trying to be who we think you will like. We're, we're trying to show off our more favorable features and hiding things we wouldn't want to share with you guys. There's nothing big about my personality that I keep from you guys that I wouldn't be open about if the time came and if it was, you know, important or relevant to my videos. We're always told to be ourselves and not to hide things, but then at the same time we're told, you know, no public displays of affection or don't don't wear that with that because you look stupid. Well, which one is it? Do you want me to be who I want to be and do what I want to do, or do you want me to be what society wants me to be and what society wants me to do? It's definitely something all of us face every single day, which is why I just wanted to, just wanted to make a video about it. The point Kenji Yoshino is trying to make is that we should not stop covering, but just only cover when we feel we're doing it for ourselves and not for others. Essentially, he just wants us to do what we want and feel comfortable with doing what we want. And that is all. I hope you have nice weeks, and I will talk to you soon.